So let's jump into notes and take a look at some of the text editing shortcuts that you can now do with your pencil. So I've already set up a page in notes with just some things that you can kind of play around with. Just to have a look at some of the things that, you know, pencil might just speed up what you're doing. As a teacher, I spend a lot of time obviously marking work, looking through students' text. And one thing that's going to be really, really useful is the ability to be able to edit what they've um, done for me so that I can make those corrections or show them the corrections. But also when it comes to me writing anything for myself, just a really, really quick way for me to be able to just scan my own work and, and make those quick edits using the pencil. Again, not having to rely on using a keyboard if I'm kind of in the flow of using the pencil in my hand at the time. So let's just have a look through some of these different things. Top one, um, fixing mistakes. So what I can now do is scribble and it will um, edit that out for me. Okay, so straight away, I've just uh, scribble on the page and it's deleted it. So scribbling, just erasing it as you naturally would, probably if you were doing um, you know, written work on a piece of paper, if you make a mistake, you'd scribble it out. Um, it now actually deletes it for you as well. So I suppose one of the benefits, I suppose, of having uh, the digital version is that it doesn't leave the scribble on the page. So you just change the word um, and it's going to add in that space to be able to correct yourself. So something that's really, really nice and students can kind of play around with that. And obviously us as educators probably think about lots of different ways that that's going to speed up things. The next one is, again, selecting specific words um, or the sections of the text. Now, ordinarily, you might tap on the screen and select the text. If I've got the pencil in my hand, though, I can select specific words by circling them or I can select specific sections of the text by drawing a line across it. So again, it just really speeds up those things. Again, it might be that I want to use this text. So now that I've selected it, there's lots of things you can do, including obviously speak or copy, paste those different things that you might want to do. If I have a sentence and I think there needs to be an additional word in there, um, it's very easy to do that. So let's say that I want to add text to a specific sentence. If I tap between and just leave the pencil on the screen. It's going to give me that space. Oops, try that one again. And I can just write, and it's going to add that directly into my sentence and then connect it again. So it just gives me that space to be able to write, um, you know, plenty of space on there. It adds the word in that, I, that I've missed out, and then, you know, it, it joins it all back together. So again, just a really, really nice touch. And I'm thinking already there's there's ideas of, of how that might speed up when I'm correcting my own work, correcting a, a book that I've started to write, um, or notes that I've taken. I think, oh, I missed something out in there. I'll quickly add that in. Um, it just, it's just a time saver. The last one then, you can see that there's, this last sentence doesn't make any sense, but it's about how I can quickly edit again the text. So um, it, it should say separating or joining words. So in order to separate the words, I just strike down and it gives a gap. And equally, if I want to join some words, um, because obviously there's a gap in words that shouldn't be there, again, if I join, draw down, it's going to join those together. So if, if you do it, um, in a sentence or, or within some text that doesn't have a gap, it will give you a gap. If you do it where there is a gap, it will take the gap away. So again, something which is just going to speed up potentially how you edit your own note taking. But again, I'm sure people are going to have loads and loads of ideas um, and loads of opportunity to share what you can do with this. Scribble really is going to change how you can interact using your pencil, using the iPad, and certainly for learners that might at this point struggle to use a keyboard or for, for anybody who might struggle to use a keyboard because of the slow you know, understanding of, of the, how your fingers work on the keyboard. It just means that you can communicate in a different way. And that's really what I love about iPad is the range of input that I can put into this, be it through voice, be it through using the pencil, be it through using the keyboard. There are just so many different ways to be able to do that. And what Scribble has now given you is additional tools to be able to edit those things that you add in as well. So there we go. Quick overview of some of the editing uh, of text that you can do with the pencil now in Scribble. Please do leave some comments below if you've got some thoughts or ideas on how to use this um, and look forward to sharing some more thoughts with you in future videos.